Welcome back to SF Craft. So today what we are going to be doing is clearing out this area and going back to the surface by making our exit and then hopefully getting some pistons so that we can make like an actual entrance and exit without having to like break blocks and build up with cobblestone. <laughs> so I'm thinking we gotta we gotta dig this area out first, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to show you in the last episode, this is how much cobble we got. Oh, okay. Let's let's dig this area out here. So I dug out this whole area now. Oh, let's just draw my old pickaxe. But now we can start building our way up to the surface. So at this point I'm probably going to put this here actually. So let me get the torch out. I'll put it like here now, so I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll put it right here. And basically from here we'll go down like a few blocks, like to here, and then we'll have a water elevator, which right now it's going to be ladders because I don't like actually have water. And from here we're going to go up until it starts dropping dirt, so we need some ladders now. So I think I, I should have enough wood to make the sticks needed for ladders. So let's just do it until the ladder shows up. There we go. So, that did not use all my wood, luckily. Okay, so now we can start doing this. And that's, that's literally all we have. So yeah, let's make more. Three more, I don't think we're gonna have enough, we're gonna have to build back up. And let's like break a block like right in there. And I'll put a torch there. Which we'll use that one of these last sticks with the coal if you haven't. Take the coal out of the furnace. And I'll make one last torch. So I'll, I'll just put all this stuff away for now. So I do need, I did need the torches, so I know I used sticks on that, but I really needed them. So... I can't, I'll keep this. Okay, let's do, there we go. That's good, so that means do we have, we have one more. Okay, so I'm back with more wood. I now have all of that, so I need to make some more torches. Uh, torch, okay. So I'll put the coal back. We'll put that in there. So I need more sticks. And from there I need ladders, so... There's a ladder. I mean, I should really just use all this wood to make ladders, but I have no idea how many more I'm going to need. So I'll actually leave those there to keep it lit up. So I'll do that. There's three more, and... Wait, what? Okay, so I was... ringing some water up here, but I did fix it, so... Don't worry about that for now. Like, it was weird, but I did actually run into some water. We should be reaching the surface soon, though. Okay, that's a good sign. So 
So that's the surface there. So this is, that's four high or whatever, so that should be enough to dig out a room here. Jump over to this there. If I run into that water, I'll just build over it like I did before. Okay. Yeah, I should be okay at this point. If as long as I build where the water is. But it literally got flooded and I had to like build out of it, but I did it off camera because it just looked bad. Okay, well there's mine. There goes another pickaxe. So I might do the actual... The actual area where it goes down to the surface right there is where I'm thinking. <laughs> so I think I have ladders. Oh, I'm out of ladders. So I'll go back down and get some more ladders. Okay, but I'm not looking at my chest. gonna go into a chest and probably like never be used again for a long time so it is it does appear to be night so I am going to sleep because I'm the only one on right now should get some emeralds, that way I can start. Yes, these are all done. So I should see how many melons I have, and see how many emeralds I can buy with those, and then combine those with the ones I have and see if I can buy some... Well, I should be able to buy some stuff. So I'll take this that I already have, and now I'm going to use this new exit to go up to the surface and I'll actually make like a real exit okay so now we are here in like the well now I'm lagging because of all the drowned and the fence which is the puffer fish in it so basically this is the main building so I did not get to show you guys this last time so this is the map so that's where my biome is and there is all of this over here. That's where the Ender Dragon egg will eventually go. So whoever gets it will be able to put it there. So this is the elevator. This takes you up here. And from this point, you can use these vending machines. But I'll show those later once I get there. So at this point, I need to sell some melons. So I'm going to go to the trade islands using these like zipline-like things. And I just fell and I just died. So that's what you're not supposed to like not do. Because I rushed into it and I was lagging from all the drowned. So. So now what I'll be able to do is just swim. Swim across this. And then. Now the villagers can't escape me. Because it's raining, that's actually kind of good. Because they'll all go inside. So, I'll sell that. Who else? I'll go find another one then. There should be two of them in this house. Yes. So, that's all I'm getting. So, that's 17. That's not bad. I should be able to go buy a pickaxe from some of the guys over at one of the other islands. So I'm not going to edit this part out because this is all new, I haven't shown this yet. But for future videos I'm not going to like show all this where I'm just walking around up here. Because there's no need for it. So the weapons, weapons smith, or the tool smith I really need because I need a pickaxe, should be over here. 
Then I'll use these remaining emeralds. I'll need to craft a crafting table. But basically, I'll use these remaining emeralds to make an emerald block, and then I'll be able to buy more, either more iron or diamonds, which then I'll be able to use to buy stuff from the other vending machine, like slime blocks, which I need really badly. So. Oh, this guy trades? Well, that's nice. I could. I have lots of that. Who's this? The weaponsmith? Yes, I do not need a sword right now. I need. I need a pickaxe. 13! For a diamond pickaxe! Might have to pass on that for now and just stick with the iron. Wait, did I even bring an iron pickaxe? I'm gonna have to make a stone one to dig back down. Probably. Yeah, because there's that one piece of call that yeah. Don't even worry about. So I I'm not gonna buy So thirteen that leaves six left. So six is not enough to make a block. So let me see, do I have anything else? Stone, granite, quartz. Yeah, I can't trade. I don't have any of that stuff. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'll go, um, do I have anything else? That, yeah, none of this has any value. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll go back. I'll go back down. And I'll make an emerald block. And then with that emerald block, I'll come, I'll like buy stuff and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I'm back with the emerald block here. So basically I'm going to buy something from this. So I don't think I need the iron right now. But what I do need is slime balls. So I really only need one. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'll make the jukebox. Then I'll have to like break part of like a tree or something. And that should give me enough wood that I can make a jukebox down at my crafting table. And then I'll use the jukebox to buy the slime ball. Because that's really what I need right now. But what just happened? Okay. So I'll put my emerald in there. And then I'll buy the diamond. Okay. Okay, so we're back here. And now we can actually do stuff. So, wait, what do I need? So, yeah, I have the slime block. So now I'm going to make. I do need iron for this, right? Yeah. Make a piston. Wait, what's the formula for piston? I need redstone. I was right there. I could have bought redstone from the cleric. Okay, well, here's a... I gotta go back and get that. So I'm already back here to buy some melon. I mean, sell some melons. Can't really... No need to buy any. That's what I'm farming. Oh, wait, that one... I didn't realize that one was charging higher price. I just fast-clicked on it. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the Cleric Island. Okay, so it's this one right over here. So I'll buy some redstone from here. And then I'll be able to make my pistons. So... How much more? Oh, well, I think I'll need like that much. And then I'm, I think I... I think I don't need to buy any... Thing else for the time being, so I can go buy a pickaxe. But I'm not sure if that's the best idea for now. So I am back with all the materials I need... To make this... Sticky piston. Okay. What do I miss? I'm missing wood. Wait. I got rid of all my wood. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so we're back after literally just forgetting everything so many different times. Finally, we can make a piston. And then with this piston, we'll make a sticky piston. And now I can finally do it. So this part, I'm not really going to show. So this, I do need to make a lever. So I can show this. But now I'm going to do this. And so that no one finds out where my base is from watching this video, I'm going to basically do this and then show you guys when it's done. Okay, so it is complete now. So basically, it's closed. But when we want to get out, you just do this and that opens it up. And then this, that will close it. So now there's no need to do what we've been doing as soon as we finish the entrance. So the entrance, we were, you'll be able to just drop right down in the center. But for now, what does it to break that block and then replace it when going back in? So the thing is, I do kind of want to work on the entrance. But I also want to clear these areas out. So I'm thinking, for now, I'll just dig this here. And then... We'll put water. I right, just dumped it out. Put water right there so you don't take fall damage. And then the torch I'll replace right here. So that's basically how this will work. You'll come in from there with will be like a it'll be also like a piston door, but it will be harder. It's it'll be a slightly different design and it won't be as easy as that one really, like two pistons and a redstone block and stuff like that. So it will be a little bit more complicated, but it will definitely be worth it. Because it will be so much easier than what we're currently doing to get in. Which I haven't been showing you, but it's not... It's not fun. I'll just say that. So I also want to clear out some more space here. So that these trees grow. So I think I'll do that first, and then I'll start clearing out these areas, and then I'll show you when I'm done. So I expanded this whole area here and mine some gravel and coal that I found here but basically now there should be more room for these trees to grow and hopefully they will then we can get some wood so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out this this area and this area and I'll fill it up with water like this and then I'll show you when I'm done and then I'll end the episode there okay so I've completely cleared out this entire area Well. Wait, I missed a row. So I'll just dig this out on camera because I'll explain it. So basically, I'm going to show where I dig. Well, not really dig, but just um, place water and then place some dirt. Because that will, um, that will let grass grow around here and then it will look like the same as the other two sides. Okay, so now I'll just place dirt all along this area here, and then the grass will spread. So now I can get rid of these two here. I'll put one, I'll put a torch there, that way it lights it up a little bit more. And then I need my bucket. Okay, I think it's good. Yep. So now I will clear out this side and do the exact same thing, and then I think I'll end it there. Okay, so finally I finished that area. So now I can do this. And I'll break these torches here. I'll move this one up to there, though. And I... Uh, that should be okay. Get the buckets. Just randomly placing. Them. 
Okay. So then I'll just... I forgot to do this before, but I did it over there. So just... Um, that's wrong. Just this. Like that. And in the center here. For now, just so that it's not... It's easier to walk over this. I mean, I'll eventually replace this with probably like concrete or quartz or something. Once I'm further ahead. And I'll get rid of this thing here, because we don't really need it. Instead, I can just move a torch over to here, and I'll put one right here as well. And I'll put one over here too. So now it will actually, like, it's a little bit more lit up. That'll make it symmetrical. I can make more torches. But yeah, this area is now edited out, so now, like, it's all dug out, so now you can just drop down from there once I make the entrance land in this, and then you can go whichever way you need to. And this way, I have not made yet, but this is going to be our armory, is where we'll put all our weapons and stuff like that, but I don't want to make that yet until we're further ahead. Because right now, everything we can just put in here. So we finally filled up this entire chest. I'll have to make another one to continue the cobble chest, but I won't do that this episode. And we have an easy way to get out but next episode I'll make this a water elevator because then we're gonna get a diamond pickaxe and then we're gonna go to the nether and that's where we will get soul sand for the water elevator thanks for watching this episode of SF craft so we got like I just went over everything that we got done this episode but we definitely got a lot done even though no one else was on so, I mean, I was going to get some other people on, but unfortunately we didn't get it, get anyone on. But, it's, we still did pretty well anyway, and I needed to get on anyway, because otherwise I was, I wanted to get ahead of everyone else, and I haven't made an episode in a while by the time you watch this. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of SF Craft.